Hi, David Sager, hey. Grit and Grind Pod, Hi. episode yeah. something. <laughs> um, Thomas Arnold. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jose Garcia Vidal. So close, but Jose is and not from South Michael Scotland. So no. Downey. Oh, Reese. That's, that's, that, no, you got them mixed up. Fine. Easily look done. Similar. We'll, we look alike. <laughs> Thing you look hair. like you have a beard, you have dark hair, you're listening. Mm. Oh, no, wait. Go. <laughs> it's the yeah. evolution. Don't have dark hair. <laughs> no, you're the one with dark hair, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we out here. Um, and we're just going to be talking all things playoffs and NBA and news and draft lottery and everything good and fun in the world. Um, so we can start with the most recent stuff and go backwards, I guess. Um, the Milwaukee Bucks walked into the Atlanta Hawks' backyard, <laughs> paid the ref, and walked out with the victory. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go on. <laughs> I mean, they, they were up when Trey got injured. They were up. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's right there. It's right there. It's the only way they could do, they could do it. Dirty. <laughs> Playing I mean, like he Wayne would... Wade. He was a non-factor, though. So The ref? No, Trey. <laughs> After point. the injury, he was. He was definitely well, before that. Before, before that, that he, was, he was horrible. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. He, he, was, he, had, logo. he had, he had more, more turnovers. Well, he had a game with more turnovers than assists, assist, right? So he did, he did one, for, one for 25, at, you know, three. Yeah. So. But the... A lot of those turnovers came after, well, some of those turnovers came yeah, after yeah. the injury. After the injury, I don't even think he made a shot. <laughs> it, to, to be fair, it was a bad injury, though. I got, I, you, you see the way... <laughs> <laughs> You're starting the monster truck over there, Jose. <laughs> yeah, this, this, I, live next to, I live next to a monster truck um, track, so, yeah. <laughs> Don't mind that. Don't mind that. <laughs> I was saying, to be fair, that injury, it looked really bad, man. It looked like a really bad ankle twist. So mm. I, 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 that that's a kind of injury that can change the way you play for sure. Mm. Mm. Tom, but, you're hey. on crack, man. I'm looking at his stats right now. Like the guy shot 43% from three, 52% yeah. from the field. No, no, absolutely. <laughs> he more turnovers. Uh, but after, after nah. the injury, he wasn't the same. But before he was rocking yeah. it. <laughs> Exactly. So, what was he shooting before then? No, injury? no. Before the injury, before the injury was one for eight. No, he wasn't. Yeah, he was. No, so he after the and after the injury, he, he was he got better. No, he, he wasn't. Better. He went fine. He no man. No, it's after the injury, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Anyway, if you want to troll and make conspiracy theories, I can do it too. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so totally different tray after the injury. Um, the Hawks did keep it close, and by the time Trey came back into the game, they were still up. To be fair, um, it's just that from there he he didn't have the same kind of influence. Um, he had a little bit more trouble shaking Drew Holiday, and then I mean credit the Bucks. Uh, Yanis got himself some buckets, um, and Middleton twenty point fourth quarter man heated up. Mm-hmm. Finished with what 38? 20 out yep. of the 30 that Milwaukee scored on the on like he he alone scored more points than the Hawks in the fourth quarter. Yeah. 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 Um yeah, and he was on fire. There was just that dagger as well where you're just like, okay, I mean there is, you, you can't do anything about this guy. Sorry. <laughs> <This is laughs> yeah. <how it's> <laughs> yeah. When he's hot, he's hot and he was hot. So oh, he's got a lot of haters out there. I'm telling you, you know who you are. <laughs> yeah, listening. I know you're listening. <laughs> you're listening. listening. <laughs> you <are. laughs> to be to be fair, like the, the the books are are definitely proving myself uh, and a lot of other people are sort of wrong at the moment. They're they're doing what we haven't seen them done do before, uh, which right. is get into difficult positions and then turn it around, pull through. Yeah. Um, yeah. And they they showed a little more of that during the regular season as well, um, playing through. Holiday or Middleton in those tough situations rather than giving it to Yanis and just being like, here, run through five people and dunk it if you can. <laughs> um, and it's and he still can. That's the thing. <laughs> at times it gets harder late game though, right? And that's yeah. where they've stepped up 
whether it's the overtime in game seven with the um with the nets or tonight where middleton carried a huge load um mm -hmm. drew had another poor shooting night he had a lot of assists but he really couldn't score there was a possession where huerta just locked him up <laughs> put the clamps on him I think it's good for me walking yeah. to have him on the court anyway because of the for confidence sure. that he, you know, brings up, bringing up the the ball. Like he's the best to do that for the box and and yeah. defensively, he's just really really good. So mm. I, you know, he's earning his money that way. Mm. Yeah. Thankfully, the Bucks don't need him to score right now. So yeah, and I think some of his shooting woes are because he's having to do so much on defense trying to guard Trey. Yeah, he's tired. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, it was a good game. It's a shame that it was kind of uh, marred by the injury because you want to see these teams go toe to toe, and it was a close game and a good game uh, up until the injury, um, and that kind of tipped things in Bucks' favor. Yeah, it, it felt like the Hawks kind of had the edge uh, mm. until that point. To be honest with you, like yeah. it, seeing that we like came out like really strong early, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, seven zero run to start the game. Yeah, but hey, it's it's two one. It's it's it's. Still yeah, and they have another game in Atlanta. Like the yeah. Hawks did what they had to do, and they stole a game in Milwaukee. So they still have, you know, court advantage advantage right now. So if they win the next one, it's still up for grabs. So we'll see. Box, box, box. Um, box in five. <laughs> in five. <laughs> That's what I was going to ask. Has, has anyone's opinion of the series changed? Yeah, I, don't I can't know. remember what I said. You said box, <laughs> you said box, said box in five. five. You said did box I say five. box in five? Well, I'll stick to my box in five then. <laughs> I said I said um box in six and I'm sticking to it too. Yeah. Same. Yeah, I yeah, same as well. But I mean the Hawks, man. Yeah, they're good. They're really good. They're good. Mm. But Yanis Yanis is, is is just playing a lot better. Like he, he yeah. has it's like subtle things that he's do he, he's changed his game slightly mm. and mm. like I Nice. It's like making the right decision, isn't it? Like he mm. used to be a lot more careless, mm. and and I'm I'm saying he used to be yeah. careless like this season, you know? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Four yeah. games yeah. ago, <laughs> <laughs> it's like something changed in his brain. Um, that and he can he alone can make that team so much better. But mm. when you also have Middleton doing the right thing, Holiday defending, Brook Lopez being super yeah. aggressive, I'm loving the way he's playing. Yeah. By the way, and that's something I wanna I wanna you know highlight this. The big men are playing a lot uh, more aggressively than they than they used to in the past couple of years. Like you see Zubac, you know, you know, holding on to the rim after the dunk. Mm. Boogie, you know, he goes in, even he does he does stupid things. Um, but Zubac, you know, DeAndre Ayton, uh, it's, it's good to see. It's refreshing, isn't it? It's refreshing mm. to see big men yeah. playing like big men. Yeah, um, and then to shout another big man uh, in this game, um, a Kongwu put in a really good shift in the in the fourth quarter he he hasn't been getting much minutes in this series so um when he yeah. was run out there it was good to see him sort of uh reward the well reward himself <laughs> with um by playing really well um yeah and and prove himself to be a good player and a good matchup against Yanis and I think that's something that they might use in the future um and part of the reason they were matched up is because the Bucks have been playing a fair amount of Yanis at the five. I think they've done it in each of the three games and they've looked much better for it. Uh, as good as Brook Lopez has been, I think um, the the four out around Yanis lineups uh, yeah. have been really, really effective against the Hawks. And it's almost like Trey doesn't know what to do as much when he's up against a lineup with, um, with those uh, four wing players or guard players and Yanis at the center well yeah Yanis Yanis is massive and agile yeah. like <laughs> like the floater is a, a fantastic weapon but you gotta throw it really high like yeah. really quickly to, to get it over Yanis yeah um for... yeah yeah it's incredible and then just him as a role man like it's so much he gets so many more easy buckets when he just runs a pick and roll gets it and then like the help is late coming down the lane it's just like nope it's too late i'm too long too athletic it's it's at the rim i'm laying up i'm dunking now this is just easy for me um, yeah and I'm, I'm glad to see it finally big man yanis <laughs> stop yeah. dribbling yeah it, like, yeah 
it's just the, the, some of the force moves that you're seeing, like some of his like spins to the basket and stuff. Mm. Like. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. Do it All right. again. <laughs> Do it again. Um. Yeah. So we can west. move back a series, head out west to the Western Conference Finals, uh, where the Phoenix Suns have taken a three-one lead on the LA Clippers. Mm-hmm. On the LA Clippers. Three-one. Facing elimination. Um, and they have home court all the way through anyway. Oh, is there no one? Oh, yeah. Utah was the only team with a better record, weren't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Oh, man. Didn't even like, need it. Didn't even need it. Exciting times <laughs> in Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, what even happened in... Oh, this was... Um, so, Devin Booker's had his nose broken. Mm-hmm. Played the mask game with the mask, uh, which is the only game the Clippers won. Uh, he took the mask off part of the way through this game um, and then fouled out. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Chris Paul helped to bring the bring the team home. Uh, but this was, was it this game? And was it game two as well? Where the last like two minutes lasted forty five minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. so slow. <laughs> and I know Chris Paul likes to play slow, so he grinds games to a halt. Obviously, game yeah. two was a little bit different because they were really close, so it was it got very tactical, um, and ended on that excellent alley oop pass to Aiton. Yep. Um, nice. But yeah, this game ground to a halt, and it's Chris Paul being Chris Paul because. Yeah he knows that he's going to make the right decisions. So the less possessions there are, the less variance there is, the more influence he can have over the game. Yeah. So he will grind that game slow as possible. Something that LeBron likes to do in the playoffs as well. And it worked. They managed to pull out a close one. Um, more missed free throws by Paul George. Yeah, but, but that, that, that wasn't a problem though. Like It was a problem on, on game... Was it game three? Two. 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 Three, they won. Three, they won. Uh, but on this this game, they shot terribly. Yep. Mm. You know, and, and not just the Clippers, by the way, the Suns did as well. Yeah. I don't know if, if, you know, in this NBA, it's really hard to to analyze when you see a poor shooting, shooting performance, if it's actually a good defense or just a bad shooting night, right? Yeah. And yeah. I, I'm inclined to say that it, it was just a bad shooting night for both teams. Mm. Um. 80, 80 and 84 points is like going back to the 90s, isn't it? For a second. <laughs> it's, um, yeah. 5 of 31 and 3 pointers for the Clippers and 4 of 20 for the for the Suns. <laughs> but you but see the, the Suns and, and, and that's where, where, where the difference is where you just said that Chris Paul knows what to do. Yeah. Um, they only shot 20 because Chris Paul said, no, we're going to start shooting twos. <laughs> yeah. The Clippers <laughs> tried to shoot their way out of game, you know, out of and, and keep shooting 3 pointers and Unfortunate, you know. I'm looking at the the general field goal percentages here, and the Clippers were 32.5 percent from the field <laughs> overall. 32.5. Solid. <laughs> and then the Suns were 36 percent from the field. Um, it's and a yeah, down sort of uh, approach to it, right? <laughs> yeah, it's ooh, it was ugly. Um, and someone I needs think... to teach Boogie the rules, man, as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, but do you think do you think they should start installing um, clocks for the refs as well to check on those situations when they have to check on the screen and make their minds up? Like they should like it's a, a, lot, a thirty it? seconds clock, like go. Yeah, how long do you need to check it for? Right, like exactly. They they check it till they're right, right until they're sure that they're right. But it's just it's it's horrendous. It's yeah. absolutely yeah, horrendous. Like it's, it's real easy, and you're just like, come on, guys. Yeah. Yeah, like everybody's seeing this at home, by the way, guys, you know? Mm. <laughs> yeah. Like we know what it is. Come on, man. Let's get this, let's get it cracking. Um, and then there's things like where the rules should probably be tweaked a little bit, like that in that game too, when um Patrick Beverly got the well forced the turnover on Devin Booker because mm. like his pinky finger was still touching the ball after Patrick Beverly hit it out of his hands and to the naked eye or anyone playing in a gym anywhere other than the NBA where they have those cameras, that's Sun's ball. Right. Um, 
but it was called Clippers ball. And he got the exact same call on LeBron James at the end of a game last season as well. And um, it's just one of those things where if the, if the defender causes the deflection, it should be, count off of them i know I, I i heard i heard somebody else sort of speak yeah about this. and like i i kind of i i get i get the sentiment but it just makes it so much harder to enforce i i, I think that it would it would cause more issues than it would problems that it would right. solve, essentially like i i because trying to because it's a little bit subjective right it's it's a little bit sort of um like, people could, yeah, could look at that well, I, th- I think it is subjective yeah absolutely that's why the the refs are there you know like the refs are always going to have the last the last word mm-hmm. right so mm. they they can interpret the the videos any way they want to so it is 100 subjective as every other sport like that's why the ref is making the tough choices so you don't have to right mm. yeah, but but with, you, with cameras yeah it, it should sure be. but but you still mm. but you know that's just another resource but you still are going to have a level of, of subjectivity there mm. Yeah, yeah, but we're talking about changing it from the last player that the ball that touches, touches the which ball, is, which which yeah, is objective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a very provable thing to then mm. the person that sort of touched it with any intent. <laughs> yeah, which I'm just like, oh. <laughs> it, it seems like a problem that's gonna <laughs> go. But I, yeah. I, I do get it. Like, you know. There's nothing that Bucker could have done about that. Like, <laughs> yeah, right, and yeah, I mean, yeah, it just is what it is. And they ended up winning the game anyway. I, I was just so shocked when. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I'm speeding through this, like skipping all the breaks and stuff. So I see it happen, and then see that it's going to replay, and then just fast forward, and then I'm just like, wait, they called it Clippers ball? Like how? And I was like, oh my god, come on, man, this is ridiculous. Brush some um, arm hair on the way. Out. Yeah, like, come on. We got the microscopic cameras now, and we had a look at that. <laughs> yeah, he hit it out of his hands, but removed his hand first. Like, uh, come on. Great play. Great play. <laughs> um, you just have to be really quick with your steals. <laughs> oh. um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, that was a really good game, actually. Um, I, I didn't think this last one was a very good game, but no. it was a close game. Um, and it was Tom's favorite type of game. Uh, Hell yeah. A brick fight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who who's gonna build a house the quickest? <laughs> New York uh, style. Sp- sponsored by Ben Simmons. It was, it was, oh my god. <laughs> it was it was good. It was good. I like that. I like that. It's the complete opposite of the ending of the game before that. You know, with the alley oop. Was, yeah. was that the sense game, right? Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. Trade. the um last second alley oop. Mm. Talking about rules being changed, even the players were like, huh? Yeah. How can he grab it over the that. cylinder? But because it's not a field goal it's attempt, it no can't be um yeah. can't be basketball interference. And, and other rules, the rule that, that the NBA needs to take a look at. <laughs> Why? Yeah. No, no, That's no. Not, makes not, sense, not, 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 not the last second. I'm talking about the, the actual put back dunk and stuff like that. It has to be like in, in FIBA basketball, you can touch the ball mm. on offense, like grab a rebound or interfere with the ball. Oh, but it still has to have touched the rim first. It's a slightly different yes. rule. Yes, yes. So it does yeah. have to, yeah. But it makes more yeah. sense, though, to me. Just, oh, just yeah, yeah, it. yeah. Yeah, I think NBA they should change is, it as well. Which is all offense still doing that. Yeah. It's a bit... Yeah, yeah I agree. Uh, anyway, uh, but yeah, it was but, fun. It was fun. Uh, yeah, it, it, I mean, that one's just little known, right? But mm. Booker, Booker knew exactly about it. Like, the Suns Cleveland mm. knew about it. He referenced the, the, the Ch- Tyson Chandler one. Yeah, right? yeah, so, yeah. Um, they'd done before. Yeah, and uh, Jason Kidd had scored on an inbounds play and had it chalked off because you can't do that. I think right. I remember that happening uh, a while back. Yeah, can you imagine the guys just shooting, you know? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And on it, the sideline, just, just taking a three-pointer. And that's the, <laughs> that's the implication of it, right? Exactly. Like, if you were to change the rule, then that's what you'd be able to do. It's like, yeah. okay, then it's a field goal attempt and you yeah. can shoot the inbound. Yeah. Yeah. Just have Steph doing his tunnel shot. <laughs> Easy. It's, I mean, it's really like that, but that as an as an oop, it's like it's indefensible. Like you, yep. the guy's got to like what put his arm through the hoop to, to get the block or something. That would be interference. <laughs> That'd be interference. It wouldn't and, until it would on the oop. It would on the oop. As soon as he touches it, yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. 
So yeah. it's, you can't, like, what do you as do? Soon, <laughs> as soon as he grabs it, it's interference. That's it. Don't, yeah. don't let him get to the spot, I guess. Is the yeah. yeah. And that, that's what that's they were trying idea. to do. And he, uh, Aiton only got a slither of... Oh, yeah. space. But the play right. was great because they had a fake that you know that Booker was gonna get the ball, mm. and Booker ended up setting up the screen, screen. to yeah. to Aiton, you know, which is a very common play in FIBA basketball actually. Mm. For, yeah. for the <laughs> you know for foot, to yeah, do a UCLA cut, you know, point yeah. guard pass the ball to the side, do a UCLA cut, mm. and then screen the the big mm. uh, for the big to get the ball in the post. Yeah, it was perfect. I'm not in like I know what you're talking about, but I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the, the, those, yeah, the sort of screen, I think they called it the Spain, um, the Spain yeah. player, the Spain screen, I think Spain, yeah. the, the, the double pick, yeah, yeah. Um, it's quite, it's quite nice oh, to see. Did. Yeah, the, the guys on Sky, Mo Moonsi and those guys like mm. broke that down and, and sort of showed it uh, before, like, and I think they did it like just before the, the Suns actually played it as well, so they, mm. they've been running that, like that is. Uh, yeah, yeah. They, they do run that. Uh, they actually didn't run it in, is it game three? They didn't run it much. And funnily enough, the Hawks um, sometimes run uh, as a variation of that as well. And they haven't been running it lately for some reason. Um, but yeah, yeah. It's, it's interesting from a tactical standpoint, right? And I think this is a really interesting coaching battle between Ty Lu and mm. Monty Williams. Because um, mm-hmm. yeah. Lu has been... Lou has probably been the best coach at making adjustments in this um, yeah. in the in the playoffs. I think um, underrated. By Tom. And um <laughs> everyone. <laughs> and yeah, I mean they've gone two two down and won game three in every single series so far, but I think this is the first time they've lost game four. Um so do you guys see the Suns pulling it off? Going back home for game five. Like, Kawhi is definitely not coming back, right? No, it's not. Yeah. Well, we don't know that. They haven't said that. But I don't think he is, no. Yeah, I think they I said know. he's not going to play game five. I think... I think oh, has it been game, confirmed? I, I, is it tonight? I think I read it. That's yeah, tonight. tonight yeah. Right? yeah. So, he's not going to get better in 24 hours. You know? So, um, I think it's rap, man. Yeah. I That's the thing, though, with... Those clippers are just weird. Like how many times half and I think it's three rounds in a row they're down two nil, right? So they mm. they can't But really they haven't been dis- down three one yet. Mm. This is the first time they've been down three exactly. one. It's really hard to come back from that. Yeah. I mean qualifying, making the finals, I don't know. If it's four if it's in five, I don't I don't I can't I can't really see it. I don't understand. I think I, I mean, think it's gonna be in five, but you'd be trusting Paul George to have at least two very good games and then yeah. the rest yeah. of the team to have one other very good game. <laughs> um, yeah. And I, I'm just not sure that I can do that. And I think that the sort of the combination of, of Chris Paul and Monty Williams is just tactically too good to lose three in a row. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I can't see that. I think, I think it's a wrap in terms of who, who goes through, but then in, in terms of, in how many games. games I can't right. like it's just this too right because you you might have a, a, a play of B as they said right yeah mm-hmm. again but but once <laughs> the clippers are just too they're too up and down within from one game to yeah, another yeah, it's yeah. schizophrenic yeah, yeah. Uh, bit of a you know team there just like one team one, one game they're unplayable the next game next game is just absolute trash uh, so you don't know which one you're gonna get <laughs> it's like, it, gonna yeah talk? I mean and they had been quite consistent. I think that was the funny thing. Like, I mean, some of them haven't. Um, Rondo has been inconsistent. Cousins hasn't been very good. Canard has been inconsistent. But like, Batum has been really good. Um, yeah, yeah, he's been great. Uh, Zubac has been good in this series. Beverly's Jackson been good Mann, in this series. Pretty good. Morris has been up and down. Man has been consistent. Uh, yeah, and yeah. Reggie Jackson, I think, has been like <laughs> the breakout star of the West somehow. <laughs> Unexpected, right? Yeah, yeah. He's been unbelievable knocking down threes. Um, yeah. He wasn't so good in the last game, two for nine. But up until that point, he had been hot as fish grease, as they like to say. <laughs> hot as fish grease. <laughs> did um, they? Yeah. Who says that, though? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they do. Them. They're in the, by by, by um, the docks. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, he's just been driving Kawhi crazy on the bench. Crazy. <laughs> um. 
So oh yeah, I've seen, uh, is, that, is that the comment from the guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike, <laughs> the guy's going crazy, and he's just sitting. There. Everyone else is applauding. <laughs> he's not even. Well, clapping. He's not even clapping. He's not even clapping. <laughs> he's just like, just literally sitting there. Gives him nothing. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I was just trying to find out whether he's back for the game or anything, and that's all I found. Uh, okay, yeah, there is the announcement <laughs> that he will miss game five. So yeah, could be a wrap. To me, no, no Kawhi, no W. Mm, yeah, I agree. Oh, so you got it over tonight. Um, yeah, yeah, they're at home. They're at home. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Suns in five. Just further proof that the Lakers would have won it all. <laughs> well, you didn't know. <laughs> Don't matter. Don't matter um, exactly. So yeah, yeah. Suns in, Suns in five, I guess. Again, a shame. I, I should give the proper um, respect to the Clippers in that it's a shame that Kawhi couldn't suit up for this because it would have been a hell of a series with him in it. Um, and it's one that I probably would have picked the Clippers to win with him healthy. Um, and a backer as well. Like, he's, he's out. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I keep forgetting. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what a shame. And also, if the Clippers go out, the streak of one of... Shaq's teammates playing in the NBA Finals since 1984 years, 35 years right? <laughs> will end because Rondo That's is crazy. the last player oh in the God. playoffs they play, in the, they play in the Celtics together right? Yeah. yeah Wow, I did not know that one really? that's, a great, yeah. that's a great stat man Yeah <laughs> We should we should analyze more stats like this. I don't care about no points, yeah. <laughs> turnovers. I don't care about that. Who was Shaq's oh teammate? <laughs> uh, yeah. So no, old. honestly, 19- it's it's actually quite interesting. Like it's crazy. Yeah, nineteen eighty four. I'll send you the the Reddit thread. Shouts to the Reddit dude that did the thread. <laughs> um, I should yeah, I should check. But um, yeah, I'll send you the Reddit thread. It's it's really interesting. I looked at the whole list and it's just nuts. Like the fact that there's people that he played with when he got there that were in the finals like yeah. eight years before he was drafted. Yeah. <laughs> and eight years after he retired, like yeah. Uh, well, six, still uh, going. When did he retire? 2016. When did he I get the say? Achilles injury. 16, right? Something like that. Oh, so 15 or 16, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Before something. before Kobe, so no, 15. 16 was Kobe, yeah. So 15 then. He was he was out before Kobe. Or was it even? Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, because he, he was, was in the stands watching the game. I mm. remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was re- definitely retired by then. I'm not sure if it was more than one year, though. I think it's 15, because, yeah. What happened in 14? Oh, yeah, the Spurs won the championship, yeah. 2011. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Oh, yeah. Uh, 2011. 2011. 11. 2011. There you go. I, I thought it was Celtics. a few years before. Oh, Celtics. wow. Last team. Yeah. 10 years ago. Wow. Yeah. It's just yeah. that with Shaq, you never know, because he's around anyway, right? Like, yeah. he's, just, yeah. he's just there. He's still around. Never He's still around. <laughs> I mean, he's 49, so it'd be, he played all the way to 39 years old. That's pretty impressive. That's, that's not bad for a guy his size. That's, that's fairly... yeah. And he had the injuries while he was playing as well. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so from an old guy to oh, some young question. guys. Oh, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Playoffs. 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 <laughs> um, who do you guys actually think is the most talented team in there? Trey Young. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> team. Get out. Team. Team because I would have, I would have, with with Kawhi being healthy, I'd probably say the Clippers, mm-hmm. like a fully healthy roster, I'd probably say the Clippers are the, the most Agreed. talented. But of the guys who are left, is it the Bucks? I uh, think it's the Bucks, right? The, the Suns. I don't know. The Suns are deep. The Suns are I think deep, the Bucks have better high end talent, but mm. the Suns are deep. Yeah. Mm. So would you have? Have you got Suns favorite? To win it all now? I really don't know. Um, <laughs> I haven't even considered that matchup, and I and I won't until until the time <laughs> comes. Just because, like, I'm not disrespecting the Hawks like that. Um, yeah, I'm right. not going to count out playoff. Well, teams. I am, so this... you know, Suns <laughs> Bucks Finals. There, you had it. All first. of a sudden, you're a, you're a, you're a Hawks oh. fan, mate. Like, what? I'm not. A, uh, wait, yeah, <laughs> what are you a Hawks fan? A Hawks fan. That's the op- <laughs> yeah, op- like, complete man. opposite of the of the of the Lakers. You know, Literally. man. Listen, oh. Trey Cape. <laughs> the Trey Cape is still flapping, baby. It's still flapping. Oh no, wait, wait. still flying Ever until since a, LeBron moved to Lakers. Until a ref steps on it. 
my god. It's gonna Here step go on again. my cape too. So step under my cape. <laughs> like like oh. Jalen Rose <laughs> in the two thousand finals. <laughs> um yeah. Yeah, I think so. I I think I think the Bucks just about maybe. Maybe. Mm-hmm. I think um, the, the Bucks are probably like the Bucky's favorite right now, right? Yeah, say. but should they be? I mean, if Chris Paul's the MVP, according to Mike. I mean, argue it now. <laughs> and, and Chris Middleton isn't an all star, according to some people. Yeah, I know, right? Madness. <laughs> and surely Devin Booker and Chris Paul far outweigh the star Williams power. Oh, well, they're going to win the coaching battle, aren't they? Mm. There you go. There you go. See how easy it is to count them out? Done. They've only got Yanis. <laughs> yeah, according to some. <laughs> That's it. Kendrick Perkins says that Yanis is a Robin for Chris Middleton's oh, yeah. Batman. <laughs> yeah. And you know it's that I, I, and you, and you know I trust what Kendrick Perkins says. Yes. Perkins so, got the yes. best, best so takes. I read all his books, you know. <laughs> And here we go again. Yeah, the truck. He's a real <laughs> scientist. Is the truck Kendrick Perkins like spirit <laughs> animal? He's pulling up. Last time you mentioned Kendrick Perkins, the truck came by as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Oh god. Oh yeah. Um yeah, I mean it's easy when all you all you need to do is just run, jump, and dunk, man. You know? Yeah. Run, jump, and dunk <laughs> your way to the finals. Sorry, guys. It's that easy. Um, yeah, so we're not talking about old people anymore, so I'm going to have to change my transition. Sorry. Sorry. Yanis was taken 13th in the draft. I don't know. He might have been. I'm probably completely wrong. He actually um, was 13th. He yeah. was. He was. Yeah. This year, picking 13th is going to be... The Pacers. The Pacers. Mm. But before them, at 14, we have... No, after them, at 14. <laughs> well, before them... Be the 14th no. pick will be made before yeah, but... the 13th pick. So before them. Mm. What? Yeah. No, the 12th oh, no, pick. The 12th well, no, pick before the, the 13th. Pick. The In the, the lottery, In the lottery. <laughs> 14th place was applied before there the 13th There we go. Nice, That's nice what you recovery. meant. Right. Nice so, recovery. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so yeah, coming in before them on the draft 14th. lottery night. The Warriors. So what you meant. The Warriors have the 14th pick. See? And ladies and gentlemen, that is how you transition smoothly <laughs> to the NBA draft lottery. Whoa. You didn't even know how you got here. It was like a teleportation Boom. device dropped you in. Shouts to Modoc. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um. Yeah, who was 14th again? <laughs> Warriors. 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 Warriors picking 14th. Pacers picking 13th. Take it away, Jose. 12th, San Antonio Spurs. Hey. Yeah, well, you know, it, it, we always get like 11th or 12th. 11th, the Hornets. 10th, the Pelicans. Yeah, Seattle. Um, yeah, and then from 9th to 1, it's all Oklahoma City speaks. <laughs> <laughs> on the ninth, <laughs> ninth pick we have the kings uh number eight it's uh, the magic via the bulls obviously trade there uh seven is the warriors again via the timberwolves oh yeah yeah they were then, of that pick being last year weren't they mm, mm. then we have the thunder on six the magic again on fifth this is interesting two top 10 picks for the mm. magic um, the Raptors on fourth, Caps on third, Rockets second pick, and the Pistons will get the first pick. Mm. Um, super interesting. I think the Pistons can make a difference. Um, they have a, a young, young, young talent in there, and um, it's not going to be a winning team next next season. But in a couple of years, if they keep their core players, yeah, I mean Jeremy Grant's going with Team USA, mm. so we know what happens there. He's going to come back. With a stupid work ethic and have the season yeah. of his life. Um, he did it, that, didn't he? Yeah, a few people have done that. Um, Tatum was really good after the Olympics. Wade. LeBron. Uh, Wade. Uh, Mello. Mello. Mello yeah. season after 2012. 
Jalen Brown. Mason Plumley. Jalen Brown. Wow. All right, no, every time. Every time. All the Plumleys. <laughs> oh, man. Um, <laughs> the exception um, to the rule. Right? Yeah, there you go. Kwame Brown. Go. Kwame Brown. Yeah. Be careful what you say about Kwame. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's, he's going to post. Yeah, he's firing at everybody. And, and roast us forever. It's going to be over for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he would put us on the map. <laughs> now let's tag him. <laughs> right. Um, splice it up. Put out the little clip. Um, yeah, so that's how the draft lottery has gone. Uh, Pistons to pick first overall. Uh, they're likely to pick Cade Cunningham, the yep. best player in college basketball. Um, but some people actually have Jalen Green being just as good, if not better. He's playing for the um, the Ignite team in the G League. Um, and he's been the best player on that team. Uh, his teammate Kaminga has also been pretty good. But um, Jalen Green is definitely the the consensus most talented coming up from that perspective. Mm. Um, they're both point guards, really. I mean, Cade is like a too. scoring guard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So it'll be interesting to see who gets taken where. Who has the second pick again? Um, the the Rockets. The Rockets. Okay. Yeah. yeah what, what, what would you pick if you were the Rockets? Or like you, you're keeping obviously John Wall. You and see, that's I it, right? Take the best available player, man. Yeah. Like, they should and, not care about positions. And I think it could be a bit ironic because um, when Gilbert Arenas got injured, the Wizards took John Wall with the first overall pick and Gilbert was still on the team and it was kind of like, oh, <laughs> you guys are <laughs> kind of forcing me out the door, aren't you? Here? <laughs> and now John Wall is the injured player on... Uh on the team with the second pick who might pick the promising young point guard oh and <laughs> will be like, oh. Wouldn't it be good for John Wall to be on a team where he doesn't have to play 40 minutes a game? <laughs> like... Yeah. 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 Go to the Spurs. We'll take him. Yeah. <laughs> another another guard that can't shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Put him with the rest. <laughs> Yeah, uh, do you know who the Spurs are looking at, or what the Spurs are looking to fill? No clue, no clue. Not yet. Um, we we need a big man though. We need a, a strong big man because we have nobody there. Like just, you, disrespectful to Pertl. Yeah, <laughs> come on, but he's a defender. Like that's it. He can't score, man. He gets like two points a game. Like yeah. <laughs> he's a defender. <laughs> he is. He is good. He is good. He is good in defense. He's a great left back. He's a great left back. <laughs> <laughs> He only plays one side of the floor. Okay. Um, yeah, so it'll be interesting to see how that shakes out as time goes on. You know there's going to be blunders. They say it's a strong draft. Maybe there'll be some mistakes anyway. Sometimes they say some people are a lock to be great and history has proven that you never know, mate. sometimes never they're know. wrong. Sometimes you, they're wrong. Portland pick buoy, didn't they? Yeah. There's always a guy that comes out or like around sort of like tenth that is freaking incredible. Mm. Yeah, you never know, and I think that what's good is that teams are always. I think maybe in the last five years, more than ever, I've, I've been drafting you know players from Europe and mm. other you know even from the G League they're gonna draft now. Mm. So I think that's that's awesome, man. Like, um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good, man. Hopefully, it's a good draft class. Uh, talking about this, I, I I watched the documentary of the '96 draft class on mm. on the weekend. Best ever, right? Best, Best ever. ever. Thank you. So good. Yes. Yes. So good. Who was on Ray that? Ray. Even, Ray uh, Ray. Kobe. Nash. Anton Jamison. No, no sorry, not, not Anton. Jamison, Anton Walker. Um, Stephen Marbury, right? Stephen Marbury. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. But even players like um. Kittles, you know, yeah, okay, um, that are like se kind of secondary. Sidruna mm. Zelgauskas, you know, that played, mm. you know, such a great career, you know. Mm. It was really, what really deep, really, class. really deep. Um, I don't think we're gonna get that. <laughs> hey, you never think, know. 
There's quite a few of those had a lot of hype Iverson. Iverson, sorry. Yeah, Iverson. Number one. Iverson. Iverson. Number one pick. Yeah, yeah. it was crazy. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, I mean for, for this one, I'm I'm looking at like Toronto oh. have got the fourth pick. Toronto have still got a really strong team, you know. If, yeah. If they keep their players around, like they need, they'll need a leader because Lowry is getting old. Mm. Mm. He can't score. Siakam is so unpredictable, mm. and and he's not strong-minded. You know, like yeah, they need to decide one. whether they're gonna pay Boucher. Um, they need a big man. Yeah. Um, the good thing is they have a good coach. You know. Yeah. But I'm just uh, saying, like, if if they get if if they manage to actually get a star, and then you're putting them with like yeah. Siakam and Boucher yeah. and. Lowry still around to be that sort of veteran presence. Yeah. That's actually like a really solid team. Yeah, yeah. But they, they are like a star away. Yeah, <laughs> they have a they have a decision to make um, mm-hmm. on how they do things going forward. Because the funny thing about um, Siakam and Van Vliet are that although they haven't been like big names for a long time, they aren't young either. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, not that they're not young, but they're uh, not that they're old. They're not, but, they're not young. But they're they're not... And tr- young players. <laughs> yeah, like Trey Young's twenty-two. <laughs> yeah, um, do you, you, you want to? Because I know no one from that draft, so I don't actually know who those players are. You're talking ninety-six. Uh, I want to go back to ninety-six, and I want to okay. maybe point <laughs> out at how there was a. Uh, <laughs> A, a lapse in judgment from some teams at some point. Well, yeah. So you know, like the fir- the first six players, fairly solid, right? Iverson, uh, Marcus Camby, second, Abdul Ooh. Rahim, Abdul Rahim, third, Jim Marbury, Rahim. fourth, Ray Allen, Antoine Walker, and mm. then seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. It's like they went a little bit too hard on the alcohol. <laughs> and it's like seven, Lawrence and Wright. Hey, he was he was alright. He was alright. He was alright. Yeah. Blocker shot. Kerry Kittles, okay, fine. That's yeah. good. And and Solid I think Kerry, the thing about Kerry Kittles is that he was a senior. Mm. You know? yeah. yeah. So yeah. I understand why would some somebody would pick him over Kobe. Kobe you was would, in high would. school, man. You would, you would, yeah, it's true. Mm. No, it makes sense. Right? It was a shooter. Um the power of in, you know hindsight. That's what. Right. Um number nine, <laughs> some, some, some Mackie Walker. So Mackie Walker. Hey, he was a, he was a, a Shaq's replacement, wasn't he? Shaq was up on the three championships in 2000, 2001, and 2002. So, Yo, you, you, you want to move to number 10, which is probably uh, <laughs> Mike's favorite, Eric Dampier. Bang. Dampier, <laughs> hey. Great, uh, he won a championship player. with Dallas, didn't he? He did, he did. And then followed by Todd Fula. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. He was, uh, yeah, he was filler. I was filler. And then number 12, <laughs> Vitali Potapenko. Potapenko, legend. <laughs> <laughs> and then bang, and then suddenly it, it went, it went on. Oh, let's go back into uh, the real thing. Kobe, Ped, uh, Stojakovic, Steve Nash, Tony Delk. That was a solid. He was good. Tony Had Delk. a fifty-point game. Gosh. O'Neal, Jermaine O'Neal. Jermaine what O'Neal, also, yeah, Jermaine also from high school. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> when did the Nets pick? The Nets. They picked Terry Kittles. Yeah, Kittles eight. Yeah. yeah, there was rumors that they were going to pick Kobe. Yeah. And Kobe didn't want to go there, so he. Well, exactly. Why would he you get picked by? Used? Didn't he get he get picked by he got picked by, picked the, by Hornets. the Hornets? And yeah. then Hornets, um, yeah. Jerry West traded uh, Vlade Divac. Hmm. Yeah. His starting Divac. center. He traded his starting center Divac and then signed Shaq. <laughs> Just a small movement there. Right? <laughs> Jesus, hell of a play. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hell of a time. Hell of a time. Hell of a time to be alive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the 2021 draft lottery. <laughs> <laughs> Do segments like us. <laughs> Your sponsorship can go here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so uh, we're just going to finish up with some hirings and firings. Um, the Pacers snapped up rick carlisle as soon as he <laughs> left his job at the dallas mavericks he stepped into a taxi and the taxi <laughs> drove to him to indiana <laughs> going back to indiana <laughs> and yeah straight back to indiana um signed on the dotted line snapped him up uh, and i think i think it's a good fit for um Smart move. 
for them over there just with the with the way the team is um no like real superstars or anything um obviously Sabonis is a good player Miles Turner can do things and uh Malcolm Brogdon uh, is a good player as well um Mm -hmm. who they sign from the next Karis LeVert um Justin Holiday. They um yeah, it's a good team, it's a good solid team, and it's the kind of team that um if Carlisle can get them to do and play the way that he wants them to, they could they could be a, a solid playoff team yeah. that, you know, goes in and ruffles some feathers before going out against a more talented team. Yeah, cool. good fit, good fit, good for him. You know, I think he's a coach that is going to that should stay around in the NBA for a little bit longer. You know, not a little bit longer for a long time yeah. because he's he's one, one of the, the historic ones, one of the mm. best ones. He's been around since the nineties, I want to say, but took mm. over Dallas after uh, Jerry Sloan. Um, yeah, yeah. He's just one of those guys where he's he's got a big personality, mm. and it just doesn't work with some people, like Rondo. Like yeah. when it blew up with Rondo, mm-hmm. you felt like Rondo's got a real problem, but then he goes to other places and actually he's fine. Mm-hmm. It was just like a real clash between them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I don't actually know what the official line is with him leaving the Mavs. If I do. Pushed or... <laughs> Lucas said, fam, get this guy out my face, bro. I don't even <laughs> like this, brother, man. <laughs> Who's this, man? Don't tell me to run, please, fam. You met. <laughs> Yeah, the, in Luka. those words, in ex- ex- my name's ex- Luca, bro. Luca. Yeah, he, yeah, he Luka's met, gonna end up yeah. on the nets going, We're all we're all the coach. All of us <laughs> get to be a coach. I get to be you get to be a coach. If I Luka, think me, I get to be the coach. I think what, yeah, goes, what Luca said. Sorry, uh, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, so if Luca goes to the nets, I uh, quit basketball for No, Luca met with Mark Cuban and said, Listen, Mark, Marky. Marky Mark, Marky Mark. <laughs> I'm gonna go on holiday to Tokyo. Yeah, sort the shit out. You, you take care of this problem for me. Yeah, so when I come back, I want a different coach there. <laughs> and and the thing is, he GM. might not even make it to different Tokyo GM. because he has to qualify first. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. yeah, different GM, a new different everything. coach, a new GM, and maybe you should Obisky, consider your ownership. Obisky is, Obisky is also <laughs> part of the organization now, isn't he? An advisor. Yeah, uh, Novitsky's there. Mike Finley is a vice, Mike um, vice, whatever, nice. was, vice president of basketball operations. Um, they hired, oh, I can't remember his, his name actually, but he is a nice. You should get executive. Steve Nash as a coach. Just get Steve Nash in there. <laughs> yeah, just get the whole <laughs> bunch together again, right? Hanson Jameson, <laughs> Eric Dampier, <laughs> and Jason Terry. Jason Terry is in there. Who used to okay. come off the bench? Was it Daryl Armstrong? Who? Um, uh, who no, was it was that? Terry because he was, it was Jason Terry, Terry off the bench. Was, Jason he, Terry. Yes. was he there then, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah of okay, course, he got wow. the title. No, no, no before we, I'm talking about the Nash days. Oh, oh the Nash wow. days. Oh, yeah, he was, the, he was the backup point anyway. Was hmm. it, yeah, was it Bobby Jackson after no, he left? Um, after he left the Kings, uh, you might be right. Actually, Did he go there. I don't know, you might be right. It was yeah, someone going like back that. To all, all of those players are the same person to me, by the way. Bobby <laughs> Jackson, Tony Delk, like all the same guy. Oh, uh, sure. I, oh, uh, yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there, it's funny. There was uh, um, some people are saying that they're following all of the things that you shouldn't follow when you want to have a good franchise like they're hiring old players with little experience mm-hmm. um they're changing gms they're hiring a coach before they hire a gm they're doing all of these things that are the hallmarks of bad organizations and it, it could blow up on them but we'll see um they're catering to their superstar um mm-hmm. mm. alienating other players firing a good mm. coach like it's yeah it's it'll be interesting to see where they land and then they've hired jason kidd <laughs> it's the whole reason we're talking about this jason um kidd. they have hired jason kidd as their coach um and again that's a former player of theirs won a championship there 
Um, and now they've brought him back as a coach. He doesn't have a great track record as a coach. No, he doesn't. He just is he, is he, a, he, a, he was coach? a failed experiment, wasn't he? He was yeah. like straight after he he retired. He went to the Bucks, I think. Yeah. Um, and yeah. he was really bad. I mean, Nets. Sorry, he, he went bad. to the Nets he was and then went to the Bucks. Yeah, and they they both teams did really badly. And mm. if both teams do bad, then you have to look at the coach, right? Yeah. Yeah, and it, and it was it was like on court stuff, right? Like X and, mm. X's and O's stuff. The the way that they were defending wasn't a modern way of defending, and the way that they were attacking as well wasn't a modern way of um of putting together an offense. And we we talked about sort of uh, his influence on Giannis not being maybe the mm. yeah the the best advice uh, <laughs> <laughs> coaching for him. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit of a concern that one, a bit of a red flag going up there. <laughs> yeah. Don't waste Luca. <laughs> and then... exactly, get him to the Knicks. <laughs> oh. Oh, Wait, burn it down, burn it down, and then. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, there's always, I mean, whenever Jason Kidd moves anywhere, there's always the the um, recurring thing that gets brought up about the domestic violence case uh, mm. where he pled guilty back in two thousand and one pardon me um and yeah funnily enough he's gone to dallas which is a team that we did a whole entire special segment or episode on their uh front office having um a lot of domestic Mm. cases um sexual assault sexual harassment um and that that marred the the team for a little while and now they've hired kid and it looks like those questions will continue to be asked um about the hiring process and how they go about doing things over there um considering the sensitive cases that Mm. have gone on in that office already um yeah and then uh, following on those same lines um i didn't even know that chauncey billups had um uh what was it was it a sexual assault allegation back in 1997 um that's been brought up now that he is expected to be announced as coach on tuesday the 29th of june um it's something that's been researched by the teams that have hired him um since he retired and um I believe what happened with the case was there was the accusation was made the course the sorry the case was thrown out of um criminal court and then settled in civil court um right make of that what you will um all the paperwork is out there Hmm. it's all public record uh, feel free to do your research and make your own judgment. Um, but weirdly enough, the heat for Billups getting the job has been placed on Damian Lillard's head. Where mm-hmm. fans are saying, how could you endorse uh, someone who committed sexual yeah. assault? Oh, right. Damn. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like that. <laughs> and wow. wow. Dame's like, yeah, I was like seven years old. I don't know what to tell you. I had no idea. I and I had play. no idea. I yeah, never, I this is the first time I've heard of it. Same, likewise. likewise. Mm. Um, so, and the other, the other candidate for the job, the concrete candidate was Becky Hammond, right? Uh, she was interviewed. Yeah, but she I, was I, 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 heard, I heard that actually if Phillips didn't get it, Dan Tony was the second place oh, right. person. Okay. Well, I, I don't know. I'm against Antonio anyway. I'm not a huge fan of Antonio, but um, they had a great opportunity, I guess, Portland to to make history, to do a really good thing. Mm. And 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 you know, I, I, let, let's talk about the politics side. It would be really great to have a female coach, but she's also really good. Yeah, so yeah. That's why she should have been hired, you know. Mm. And also making history and doing the right thing. Mm. Um, I th- I think it's coming for her. I think I like. You think it's better? No, I think I, th- I think I think she'll have a job. Like, oh, hundred percent. It'll be too long before mm. she gets a, a, an NBA coach. Hundred percent. Same. I just think that um, I actually don't think this is that good of a role to be taking on, personally, mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. there is all of this um, 
uncertainty around whether Dame will stay or go. And it could be a thing where maybe he stays one more season and then goes. And then right. you're, it's just like, well, what am I here now doing? And then you look like the bad coach who dragged the team through the mud when actually the yeah, team it's that like, you came into coach isn't here anymore. Yeah, the, it, it's really hard to set up a coach for success in that franchise right now. I, yeah. I see what you, I see what you mean. Like it's yeah. really hard to turn this team around mm. um, on these circumstances. I'm, I'm, I'm not even getting wins because they will get wins. You know, they mm. got wins this year. They made the playoffs. It's it's can you hold on to your superstar another year to to build a good team around them. Um, and can the GM make the right moves in offseason? Uh, yeah, it's such a pain, man. Yeah. Yeah. You're absolutely right, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know if I would want to be the one going in there. Similar to the um, Stephen Silas job with the Rockets, right? Like, he finally gets his shot, goes there, and then Harden wants out because everyone else has left. And then they end up with the second pick and... Uh, one of the worst records the franchise has had since I don't know when. Like they got the first pick when Yao Ming was there, right? Olajuwon was picked first. Yeah, Yao Yao Ming was the first pick as well. He, he was did. right in two thousand. He was what two one one two one two. <laughs> Just two, like one, <laughs> two, two because he was a rookie year two thousand three. I remember. Yes. This. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, yeah, uh, it's been a long, long time since that franchise has had a losing record and it happens to be his first season. It's just poor timing, right? Yeah. Um, and I wouldn't want that to happen to um, to Becky Hammond in her first season either. Fair enough. Um, but, yeah, uh, hopefully she does get something soon and we can just stop talking about it, right? <laughs> like, that that's the best part of it when 100%. it becomes normal. When it becomes yeah, yeah. normal. Yeah, that needs to happen. Yeah, yeah. 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 But Billups going in there, if I mean bu, 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 Billups. Like the the whole the charger side like part to one side, because I, I I don't know the story on that. Like he has been around basketball for a long time. Like he he he, he went into sort of coaching uh straight from playing, right? Like he he's he's been in the Behind the scenes, yeah, high basketball IQ too, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so it'll it'll be a good opportunity. It's always good to see some like fresh faces, but it, it's 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 better to see somebody go and do like a few jobs before like going straight into like going straight from playing into coaching. I, I never, I, I I don't think that's a great recipe for success. Mm. <laughs> you know, yeah, that's. That's what happened he on the bench with him, somewhere? actually. He he is now, yeah. He's uh he's a Clippers assistant. He's one of Ty Lue's assistants. But he he didn't go straight in after playing. He actually, okay. I think he spent a year away from basketball, and then he wanted to become a GM. Mm-hmm. But whenever he tried to apply for anything, they told him he didn't have enough experience. And then okay. so now he's gone and done all of the coaching and gotten all the coaching experience that he needs to get. Um, to be in a position to take on this job. Unlike Steve Nash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But he's, he's surrounded by <clears throat> multiple actual head coaches. So, so surround Billups with coaches. Yeah, exactly. Do the, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Do the same. I wonder what, what the saying. difference could be there. <laughs> MVP. Unlimited. Unlimited cash and unlimited roster. Sp- I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Playing the rules. Anyway, it's the next episode. <laughs> sure. It's got nothing to do with the fact that Nash is white. Sure. Definitely. <laughs> definitely not that. Definitely. Wait, what? Are Hang people on. saying that? Hold <laughs> Is he? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm excited to see how he does. I feel like there's one that we're forgetting. Wait, Jason Kidd, Carlisle. No, no, no. That's it. It's those three, right? Uh, I think I believe so. Yeah, it feels like there was there was a lot more movement though on the coaches front Udoka. for some reason. Uh, oh, oh yeah. yes, of course. There we go. We said it like earlier. <laughs> mm. Yeah, we did. We did mention it earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so he was, where was he an assistant? Him? Was he not on the Celtics already? 
or Spurs. Was he on the Spurs? He was, Spurs, was on the Spurs, but then, yeah, Spurs. But then he went to the Nets as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. And now, <laughs> yes. And so. now, Dude, even my yeah. mom went to but the Nets at that point. Yeah, he's like, everybody's he, on the Nets. He's a Popovich uh, style kind of coach. Like, like Steve Kerr, like Becky Hammond. Like he's, he's a France court, right? Yeah. Twice <laughs> in two minutes. Oh, wow. <laughs> and we saved the penalty. Anyway, basketball. Basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so, so Emma Yudoka the... has been hired by the Boston Celtics. Uh, Brad Stevens' first act as president of the team. Who'd have seen mm. that coming? Good move. Um, yeah, he has yeah. hired Emma Yudoka. There was, they said that they wanted to hire a black coach for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, they've hired Emma Yudoka, and he is going to be coaching that Boston Celtics team. Long live the Boston Celtics, I guess. Again, it's 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 great that like see and and you think like somebody who like like Brad Stevens who has been sort of hailed as uh, a high level coach should be able to spot uh, a good coach, you would hope. Mm. Yeah. Right? <laughs> um, think so. And yeah the whole yeah we, we know the the pop lineage now <laughs> it's always uh always pretty fruitful so mm. it'll be interesting to see what you can do as a head coach and and it's it's still it's it's a really talented team so yeah we'll see but it, isn't isn't it just that it's, it's very intriguing to me those those hiring though because it's like you've got two coaches we actually don't really know what they're 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 about like mm. um celtics and and blazers coaches now it's mm. like we don't know this style of play we don't know what mm. they what they go for we know what um what's his face the man carlisle uh, carlisle and mm-hmm. we know what he does uh, and, and then kid we know what he does well we know what he does we'll see what he's learned right i mean yeah, now we'll he's, he's, a, he's an yeah. nba he's a championship coach now an assistant coach yeah, um from Bogle, right? so we'll see yeah we'll see what he's learned what he's picked up yeah. coaching lebron and you know the great anthony davis it's going to be like the, the, the Mavs position is really high pressure. Like if you don't, if they don't do well, like really well next year. Wow. You got like one season, right? Yeah. Especially with Trey Young embarrassing them with, with the trade. <laughs> yeah, but exactly. They, but they wish they had Trey now. <laughs> yeah. Embarrassing yeah. them. Embarrassing yeah. them. They lost the trade. They lost it. Yeah. The have they? lost it. All right, cool. <laughs> sure. Revisionist cool. history. <laughs> exactly. Next year, I'll be like, oh, oh, the Hawks Donchich are embarrassed, <laughs> embarrassed that they don't have Doncic. <laughs> embarrassed. Oh, jeez. Seriously. But it's, uh, but it's probably the. I, I mean, uh, if Lillard actually moves this year, then it's it's you know it's probably like a free shot, um, and, and pretty low pressure. But if he doesn't. Like that's gonna be really high pressured as well, mm. yeah. Right, mm. and then the Celtics one is always high pressured. Um, but again, but, like if they don't win next season, they've got to be thinking blow it up. Is it? But isn't it the, the right moment to do that? Like this summer, blow it up this summer. Like you got a new coach, start start yeah. fresh because they, they've, they've they've run the same team like every year we've, we've been doing this every time I'm at the start of the season I'm like how many times can you do this <laughs> and expecting a different result? Oh, same no. players. All right. Are you talking about Portland or Boston? Uh, Blazers, Blazers, no, oh, no. Blazers. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I mean, that's the thing. I, I like. I kind of think that they're done. Like, I think. I think. Yeah. He's gonna leave. Yeah. And yeah. and yeah, either either Lillard or McCollum is is gonna go. But, um. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, the Blazers have told McCollum that he's not getting traded this summer. I mean, it's definitely going to happen now. <laughs> yeah, no, it's happening exactly. You know what it is. Just it's like in, it. it's like in football. You know, the president is uh, fully behind the coach. And then two days later, bang, goodbye. Go on. <laughs> kiss of death, um, right there. <laughs> I mean, if 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 that's their attitude, then if I'm Lillard, then I'm, I'm like, okay, oh, yeah. guys, what are we doing here? Mm. Again, again, <laughs> we could do this again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I it's I don't know, man. Well, depends on what they trade him for. Yeah, I, I for sure, for sure. I mean, oh, they Lillard. could trade McCollum and, and Lillard could still McCollum. Oh, McCollum. Yeah. 
Um, Why would you go to? I don't know. It's like Simmons. <laughs> <laughs> of all people have said it. Yeah, said man. It. They need defense. Yeah. They've got shooters. I don't think you do if you're the Sixers. I don't know if you do it. Yeah. We were talking about Harden. We could have had Harden. <laughs> the Heat, the, the Miami the Heat too, could have had Harden too. You know? The Rocket said no. Uh, we're stepping on the toes of a free future podcast anyway. Yeah, sorry. A yeah. few of them. <laughs> With all this talk of past drafts and <laughs> Tony Delk. <laughs> Deep Tony off Delk. territory uh, right there. I, I, I almost bought his kit once, okay? You were so. a Timberwolves <laughs> fan. No, Kings. Kings. Tony Dell. That 50 point game. That's on the Kings, man. Kings. And then I used to get him on, on NBA Live. Yeah, NBA Not Live. The man. No. How did I think that was on the Timberwolves? Hang on. <laughs> Google's my best friend tonight. Anyway, as we said, we're not going to talk about Tony Delk. <laughs> Damn, man, we should. Okay. Should um, Tony Delk special. <laughs> he never played for the Wolves. He was don't, on the Kings. Don't okay. say that too fast, Tom. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, he played in Greece. Anyway. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think we're, we're done here. Um, Hope you enjoyed the podcast. Remember to leave us a review wherever you're listening. Five star rating, please. Uh, leave us a comment if you're watching on YouTube or somewhere else where you can leave a comment. Um, get us on social media at Grit and Grime Pod. And I think that's it, guys. Uh, any plugs? Any plugs? Um, follow us on Pornhub. We're also there. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> no? See, you, know? you see what happens. <laughs> See what happens when he has a, a another what, podcast, which is for is, kids. What is Pornhub? <laughs> what is Pornhub? But yeah, um, uh, I'll send you. I don't know. I don't. It's not in my Bible. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's it from us, from David hey. Sago, from Thomas Arnold. Yeah, shout out to my team, twentieth time champion. <laughs> congrats, Celtics. congrats! You win, French Celtics. Yeah, we won in the end. Bye, bye, French, bye. Celtics. <laughs> French Celtics. French <laughs> Celtics. No, we don't want that. We're Lakers the French are about Lakers. To take that. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There, there we go. go. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, Jose Garcia Vidal. Ciao. And Michael Dowdy. Alina Blue. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Question. <laughs> that, is that a question? Sorry. Is that... <laughs> Questionable French, right there. <laughs> yeah, it's very questionable. We're not winning this. Okay. Oh God! It's coming. Oh, God. It's, coming it's, not, it's so nuts. It's, it's so nuts. It's, it's not coming home. It's so nuts. It's home in Germany. It's home in Germany. Oh my it's God! Coming. If by home you mean Bo- Berlin, Bo- yeah. It's oh man! It's I think Czech is gonna win it all, man. <laughs> Czech Republic. It's Czech Republic coming. for the win. Let's go! Shoot, Shout out to Bratislava. Good night, everyone. Cheers.